NASA confirms three objects orbiting 3I Atlas. Avi Loeb hints at something engineered. Just days after Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb theorized that an artificial interstellar object might deploy smaller reconnaissance units, an amateur photographer captured something absolutely mind-blowing. Five distinct points of light appeared around the mysterious Visitor 3 I Atlas, arranged in a perfect symmetric pattern that defies every known camera glitch or optical trick. This isn't some blurry mess that could be anything. We're talking about clear, evenly spaced objects maintaining formation around something that's already breaking 12 different laws of physics. The timing is impossible to ignore, and NASA has been mysteriously silent about their high-resolution images for weeks. Are we witnessing humanity's first contact with alien technology? Could Loeb's wildest theories actually be happening right before our eyes? The discovery that started everything. Space is full of surprises, but nothing quite prepared astronomers for what showed up in our solar system this year. Scientists first spotted 3I Atlas back in the spring, and right away, something felt different about this visitor from deep space. Unlike the typical rocks and ice balls that occasionally swing by from other star systems, 3I Atlas was doing things that made no sense according to everything we know about how these objects should behave. When astronomers first tracked its path, they realized this thing was not following the rule. Most objects that come from outside our solar system arrive at random angles, tumbling through space in whatever direction the universe happened to throw them. But 3I Atlas was different. Its trajectory lined up almost perfectly with the flat plane where all our planets orbit around the Sun. The chances of this happening naturally are less than two in a thousand. That is like flipping a coin and getting heads ten times in a row. But the weird trajectory was just the beginning. As weeks passed and more telescopes turned toward 3I Atlas, the list of strange behaviors kept growing. It was getting brighter in ways that did not match what happens when ice melts and creates the typical comet tail. Its color was completely wrong, showing a blue tint that would require temperatures far hotter than what should be possible at its distance from the sun. And perhaps most puzzling of all, the object started accelerating in a way that gravity alone could not explain. The photo that changed everything. On November 18th, everything shifted when an amateur astronomer posted a new image online. At first glance, it looked like any other early capture of a distant space object. You could see a bright central core surrounded by the usual noise and blur that comes with photographing something millions of miles away. But as more people examined the image, one detail refused to be ignored. Five distinct points of light sat around the main object, spaced too cleanly and too consistently to dismiss without a second look. These points formed an almost perfect pattern around three I Atlas, each one positioned at roughly the same distance from the center. The symmetry was striking and immediately raised questions about what could cause such an arrangement. Under normal circumstances, this kind of pattern could be written off as a camera problem. Telescopes and cameras create all sorts of optical tricks. Light can bounce around inside the equipment. Sensors can create false reflections. And sometimes, background stars get blurred in ways that look unusual. Professional astronomers see these artifacts all the time, and they have become experts at spotting the difference between real features and equipment glitches. But this image was different. The five points did not line up with the typical patterns that camera problems create. They were not mirrored reflections, they did not follow the grid pattern of the sensor, and they were not arranged in the linear streaks that usually come from internal light bouncing around inside the telescope. The brightness and the way the light faded away from each point also did not match what you would expect from background stars caught in the same exposure. What made this image even more significant was its timing. Just days before this photo appeared, one of the most respected astronomers studying 3I Atlas had made a comment that now seemed almost prophetic. The mini-probe theory, Dr. Avi Loeb from Harvard University, has spent years studying unusual objects from space, including the famous 2I Borisov and other mysterious visitors. During a recent interview, Loeb had discussed what signs astronomers should look for if 
an interstellar object turned out to be artificial rather than natural. He was not making predictions or claiming that 3i Atlas was anything other than a space rock. Instead, he was outlining the kinds of signatures that might appear if humanity ever encountered technology from another civilization. One of the key signatures Loeb mentioned was the possible release of smaller units as the main object approached Earth. He called them mini-probes, describing how an advanced probe might deploy smaller reconnaissance units to gather more detailed information about our planet and solar system. These mini-probes would appear as separate objects moving along with or around the primary body, maintaining formation as they traveled through space. Loeb emphasized that this was theoretical thinking, not a prediction about 3i Atlas specifically. Scientists often engage in this kind of forward planning, developing criteria for recognizing phenomena before they encounter them. It is similar to how researchers prepare detection methods for new particles or plan search strategies for signs of life on other planets. The goal is to be ready with the right tool and knowledge when unusual discoveries happen. But the timing was remarkable. Within days of Loeb discussing mini-probes as a theoretical signature, an amateur photograph surfaces showing exactly the kind of pattern he had described. Five compact lights arranged around the main object, maintaining consistent spacing and brightness. The resemblance was not enough to draw any conclusions, but it was certainly enough to make the scientific community pay much closer attention to what 3i Atlas was doing. The coincidence highlighted how quickly the mystery around this object was deepening. Each new observation seemed to add another piece to a puzzle that was not fitting together according to any known pattern. The growing list of strange behaviors. As astronomers continued studying 3i Atlas throughout the summer and fall, the number of unexplained behaviors kept climbing. What started as a few odd measurements had grown into a comprehensive list of anomalies that collectively painted a picture unlike anything seen before in an interstellar visitor. The object's path through space remained one of the most puzzling aspects. Beyond its unusual alignment with our planetary plane, 3i Atlas made surprisingly close approaches to several planets in our solar system. It swooped near Mars, had an encounter with Jupiter, and passed by other inner planets at distances that seemed too convenient to be random. For a visitor from deep space to line up so many planetary encounters suggested either incredible luck or some kind of intentional navigation. Then, there was the brightness problem. As 3i Atlas approached the Sun, it experienced a massive spike in brightness that far exceeded what should happen when ice and dust get heated and blown away from a typical comet. The intensity of this brightening event suggested either an unusually large amount of material being released or some other mechanism entirely creating the increased light output. The color issue proved equally baffling. Spectroscopic analysis revealed that 3i Atlas was reflecting light with a distinctly blue tint. This blue color implied surface temperatures much hotter than what should be possible at the object's distance from the sun. For a natural space rock to maintain such temperatures would require some internal heat source or a surface composition completely unlike anything found in typical comets or asteroids. Perhaps most significantly, precise tracking of the object's motion revealed that it was not following a purely gravitational path. Something was causing 3i Atlas to accelerate in ways that could not be explained by the gravitational pull of the Sun and planets alone. This non-gravitational acceleration suggested that either the object was actively releasing material in a directed way, like a rocket engine, or some other force was acting upon it. The rotation mystery and impossible jets. Seven independent telescopes working together managed to measure something that should have been routine, but turned out to reveal another major puzzle. They determined that 3i Atlas rotates once every 16.16 hours. This measurement was remarkably consistent across different observation sessions from July through August, with almost no variation between readings. Having a stable rotation period should not be unusual for a space object, but when astronomers discovered massive jets of material extending millions of kilometers into space around 3i Atlas, 
the rotation data created a serious physics problem. These jets were captured in early November images, showing streams of gas and particles flowing away from the object at tremendous speeds. The issue comes down to basic physics about spinning objects. If you calculate how long it takes for gas to travel from the surface of 3i Atlas to the visible ends of these jets, the answer is roughly one month. But during that same month, the object completes about 45 full rotations. Any material being ejected from a spinning object should spread out and create a spiral pattern as the rotation carries the ejection point around in circles. Instead, the jets around 3i Atlas appear narrow, straight, and directionally stable. They maintain their shape and direction despite the object spinning underneath them. This kind of collimated jet behavior is what you might expect from black holes or other exotic astronomical phenomena, but not from a simple comet or asteroid releasing gas as it gets heated by the sun. The jet mystery deepened when astronomers realized that the direction and intensity of these flows did not match what should happen with normal outgassing from a rotating body. Instead of broad, spiraling distributions of material, 3i Atlas was somehow producing focused, beam-like streams that stayed coherent across vast distances. The composition problem. Chemical analysis of the light reflected and emitted by 3i Atlas revealed another significant anomaly. The object appears to be shedding large amounts of nickel while showing extremely low iron content. This ratio of nickel to iron does not match any known natural mineral distributions found elsewhere in our solar system. What makes this composition particularly strange is how closely it resembles industrial nickel alloys rather than the mixtures you find in natural space rocks. Typical comets and asteroids contain iron and nickel in ratios that reflect how these elements formed and mixed during the early days of planetary systems. The proportions found in 3i Atlas are more similar to what human engineers might create when designing metal alloys for specific industrial purposes. Loeb has been careful to point out that this composition anomaly alone does not prove anything artificial about the object. Unusual chemical ratios can occur naturally under specific formation conditions or through rare processing events in deep space. However, he also notes that this particular nickel to iron ratio has never been documented in any comet or asteroid previously studied within our solar system. The composition issue becomes more significant when considered alongside all the other anomalies. Each individual's strange behavior might have a natural explanation, but finding this many unusual characteristics in a single object challenges the probability that all of them result from natural processes acting together. Adding to the composition mystery is the estimated mass of 3i Atlas. Calculations suggest that this object weighs at least 1,000 times more than 2 Fire Borisov, the previous record holder for massive interstellar visitors. This enormous mass, combined with its unusual chemical makeup and strange behaviors, places 3i Atlas in a category entirely by itself among known space objects. NASA's silence and the data delay. Throughout this period of mounting mysteries, one aspect of the 3i Atlas story has frustrated both scientists and the public. NASA captured the highest resolution images of the object on October 2nd using the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, achieving detail levels of about 30 kilometers per pixel. These images represent far superior quality compared to earlier data from the Hubble Space Telescope and should provide crucial insights into the object's structure and behavior. However, the United States government shutdown began the very next day, and no images have been released since then. This delay has drawn sharp criticism from Loeb and other researchers who argue that scientific data should not be held up by administrative or political events. The principal investigator for the high-resolution imaging system is not even a NASA employee, which should mean that the shutdown had no direct impact on data processing and distribution. Requests for the images have come from multiple sources, including members of Congress, 
but all have gone unanswered. The delay has prevented scientists from planning additional observations, while 3i Atlas continues to evolve and change as it moves through our solar system. Every day that passes represents lost opportunities to gather more data about this unprecedented visitor. The silence from NASA has been particularly frustrating because the agency has dealt with other interstellar objects before, including 2i Borisov and the famous first interstellar visitor detected in our system. In those cases, data sharing proceeded much more smoothly and the scientific community had access to observations that helped build understanding of these unusual objects. The delayed release has also fueled speculation about what the high-resolution images might show. Some researchers expect to see nothing more than low-resolution dots and haze, particularly given that the Mars orbiters were designed for surface mapping rather than deep space photography. Their push-broom sensors capture the Martian surface in narrow strips and cannot hold stable exposures long enough to reveal detailed structure in fast-moving objects like comets. The upcoming revelations. NASA has finally announced that it will release its first official spacecraft and telescope images on November 19th. This data represents the first comprehensive look at 3i Atlas using the agency's most advanced observational tools and expectations within the scientific community are running extremely high. The release will include data from multiple sources, potentially featuring observations from ground-based telescopes like Subaru, space-based instruments, including Hubble and possibly the James Webb Space Telescope, and the long-awaited high-resolution images from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Each of these instruments offers different capabilities for analyzing the structure, composition, and behavior of 3i Atlas. Ground-based telescopes excel at capturing detailed spectroscopic data that reveals chemical composition and can track changes in brightness and color over time. Space-based instruments avoid the blurring effects of Earth's atmosphere and can maintain longer, more stable exposures that reveal fine structural details. The Mars Orbiter images, despite being designed for planetary surface mapping, offer the advantage of a different viewing angle and potentially higher resolution than Earth-based observations. However, even the best available instruments may struggle to resolve objects only tens or hundreds of meters across if such objects exist around the main body of 3i Atlas. The five points of light seen in the amateur photograph represent a detection challenge that pushes the limits of current astronomical imaging technology. Beyond the NASA release, the International Asteroid Warning Network has announced a coordinated global observation campaign running from November 27th through January 27th. This effort will mobilize assets across Earth and in orbit to gather as much data as possible during three iAtlas's close approach to our planet. The campaign represents an unprecedented level of international cooperation focused on a single interstellar object. Telescopes from multiple countries will track 3i Atlas continuously, searching for any changes in motion, light patterns, or structural features that might deviate from natural behavior. The goal is to create the most comprehensive data set ever assembled for an object of this type. Advanced space missions are also being planned. The Comet Swan mission and observations from the SOHO Solar Observatory may provide additional perspectives on 3i Atlas as it continues its journey journey through our solar system. The C-2025R2 Swan Comet mission in particular offers technologies specifically designed for studying unusual comets and may provide insights that complement the ground-based and orbital observations. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.